Yo, what is up guys? Conniff here from AK Gaming, and welcome to what is now episode 7 of From Scratch Southampton. So obviously from the last episode, we made again a lot of profit off of our um, trades. So as you can see, we sold about 13 out of 17, and some of the players didn't sell, so we decided to just quick sell them, because they were no use to us anymore. But we are just signing Manny here, and also um, James Ward Prowse, I think it was. Yep. And two awesome silver players for the Southampton team. Can't wait to get them tried out, get some matches and some goals. Just use their speci specialists to have the advantage. Manny's pace, um, Ward Prowse's passing is insane as well. But anyway, into the trading front f um, to start off. Uh, some MLS trading again because it is still out at this time when I was recording. So you can see Kaji for 850, uh, Shuttleworth for 350, uh, Jonathan Hedges, I think I got two of him. Something like that, 700 and then a car for 1.5k. Robbie Keane for 900 coins. Uh, Lau for 200 coins, pretty nice centre back there. 200 coins for Trap. Uh, 200 coins for Harvard, the left back. Uh, 500 coins for Morales, the uh, uh, Cam, Chilean. Uh, Robbie Keane. Fernandez, uh, another Robbie Keane there for 900. Morales again for 500 coins. Uh, Schulz for 700 coins. Going with the shadow card for 1.5k, some some more Robbie Keynes for 900, 650, and then Hadi Saga for 2.6k, and again there uh, coming in the Robbie Keynes, and then Barzogli 1.5k in shadow, Robbie Keane again, Fernandez for 1.3k in shadow, and obviously just realisting them guys. So anyway, into the first match, as you can see, I uh, missed out the guys team, but we did in fact take the lead. What a finish there from Isgrove. We're kind of using a second team for this match, like more bronze players, as we needed fitness for the other team. So, as you can see, we get a penalty there to make it 2 0. And Gallagher just cuts back, cuts forth, cuts back. You know, just teasing the defence and finishes it into the bottom corner. Pretty nice goal there to make it 3 0. And that was the end of the match. So, as you can see, we uh, pretty much sold everyone on the trading front, which was awesome. So, obviously, if you are enjoying the series, lads. Make sure you subscribe for more of it and like this video for like a closer release of the next episode. But now we're going to sign Mayuka, a pretty well-known striker for being OP on FIFA. If you remember him on FIFA 13, he was incredible. Wow, he was actually... Oh, he was so OP. Overpowered. Probably better than someone like Eddie Johnson in FIFA 14. Something like that. But now, into the second match. And as you can see, we come up against an FUT founder called WizSC. And his team is as follows, an 84 rated team with 92 chemistry, and he has decent players, but um, pretty much we can take him. Mayuka uh, gets his first goal for the club in the first match within, what, 10 minutes? I, I couldn't tell actually what minute it was, but I think it was in the first half. But then we get a rebound with Gallagher to make it 2-0, and I think that was the end of the match. Yep, 2-0, decent result again, and that's pretty good for the matches um, for this episode. Just showing the coin rewards there. I think EA have released or like updated the um, DNF modifier thing to make everyone's one and get like 25% more coins or something. But anyway, into the second trading session, we're picking up more endless players and hunter cards. 900, uh, 1.8k for Martinez, 300 coins. Griezmann in hunter, uh, a Matox, uh, Sergio Busquets for shadow, Boswell for 500, and Ericsson for 1.3k. And now they're in Shadow and a Desiglio and then the other two cards obviously from the previous training session that we were unable to sell. And um, pretty much we did a long trading session because we need to get a lot more coins. But from that trading session we did actually sell everyone again which is very good. It appears it's much easier to sell players at this current time. Uh, you just saw the transition eclipse then as this is the next trading group I guess you can say. But anyway, we pick up a uh, Henderson here. Um, just showing the prices now: 600 coins for Henderson, 600 for Fonte, Taylor 250, a more for 300, and a Barbo in Hunter for 1.8k, a Coleman in Shadow for 950, Sigurdsson for 600. Very easy to pick up gold players for less than 600, and lastly a Ramsey for 1.2k. And pretty much they sold. I think I'm um, got a few more cards. Just showing again who I got. Obviously there's a the Phil Jones there that I've also bought and I think Juan Jesus recently bought just then after that previous one and yeah also a Benatia. So pretty nice deals there and uh, 
yeah, this episode has been pretty good overall. Hopefully we can get um, like an informed player to sign in the next episode. But apart from that, let's go into the checklist after all these players have been shown selling right now. So as you can see, we have pretty much about 75% of the checklist taken off. I've found out that uh, one of the players, uh, that bronze player on the far right, is currently extinct for some reason. But hopefully we can get most of those team season cards in the episodes to come. Hopefully someone like Yoshida, Elia, Tadic, etc. Can we, we can get them. But anyway, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time.